The holidays are here, so let's make some Christmas cards, automatically send them to all our friends and families, and even add some personalized notes. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now we can use Google Slides to create our own personalized e-cards. And not only that, we can automatically assign all of the personalized messages and automatically send them to the right email addresses. Now in this video, I will show you and walk you through how you can set this up and how you can send it automatically to all friends and families. And so the video will be split up into two parts. Part one, designing those cards. Part two, automatically sending them to everyone as well as adding a personalized message. Now the first thing I'll do is open up my Google Drive and create a new Google slide. So let's click on new and then Google Slides. Now I do want to have a lot more space to work with. So the first thing I'll do is just close those themes on the right hand side. I'm also going to remove the templates. I'm going to go to the top where I see view. I am going to not show the film strip on the left and I do not need to see the speaker notes. There we go. We have a card to work with. Now the first thing I'll do is give my slide a background fill. So we're going to go to background, click on background and we're going to change the color. Now I like to use a gradient for this. So I'm going to click on gradient and we are going to go with a very dark gradient. So we're going to go with a custom gradient. I would like this to be a radial gradient from the center out like this. The middle will be a dark blue. So let's go with a dark blue. And then the outside will be an even darker blue. So we're going to make that even darker, maybe even make it a lot darker. There we go. Let's click on OK and done. It's a good start. It's a good start to our card, but now I'd like to have some text. So let's go with some Merry Christmas titles and we're going to add those right here down the middle. So let's go to insert word art. Now the reason I'm choosing word art over a text box is because with word art, I can also change the fill and the outline of my text. If I choose a text box, all I can do is change the font color. So let's go with word art. I'm going to say Mary. Let's add that in and let's insert a second word art. And this one will say Christmas. So let's go ahead and add in Christmas. There we go. We now have two words. Let's go ahead and find a font that will work. So we're going to just select both word art boxes and change the font. Now there's a couple of fonts that work really well, but when you go to Google fonts, you will find even more fonts. I'm going to use the great vibes for the Merry Christmas. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And we now have our titles. So we have Merry Christmas. Let's move this to the side a little bit. Let's center that. There we go. We can move these up here to the middle. Merry Christmas. I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to have a very dark border for these. Dark blue border. And the fill will be a matching bluish fill. Let's go with a white fill. There we go. Now another thing we can do is go into the format options. We can give it a slight drop shadow. So let's just give it that blue drop shadow a higher distance and this will add a little bit of depth to that card. Merry Christmas. Now underneath those titles, which will be the same for everyone, I'm going to add in my personalized text. So let's go ahead and add in the text. I'm going to say two and then we're going to add in the name of the person. We're going to have our text and then we're going to say lots of love, Sadie. Okay, let's make sure that this text has a color that we can read on this. We're going to add our mountains of Christmas text. And just for the sake of this demonstration, let's keep it simple. Let's have our text on the right hand side right there and stretch it out over the entire card. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. Now let's just add in another decoration. I'm going to just drag this in on top of our card. There we go. We can just resize that to really make it fit what we would like to see. There we go. We can crop it. We're going to crop the bottom bit away because it doesn't quite fit. Okay. Let's just duplicate this and let's change the crop so that the bottom comes back and then crop out the top. There we go. We can just move that down there. 
as well. Okay, I do like that, I like it on top, but let's just move this down a little bit more to the middle. There we go. Maybe we can center this, that would look much better as well. So let's just take our text here and let's center our text so that we don't have to worry about it disappearing behind our decorations. Nice and clean in the middle. Okay, so we have a very basic card. It says two and then a personalized name text and then lots of love my name now that's just the creation side of a christmas card now for us to automatically send this out to say 10 15 20 people we can use a little trick and the way we're going to do that is by automatically merging this information with some spreadsheet information using autocrat so the first thing you'll have to do is create a spreadsheet so let's go back to our google drive and let's create a spreadsheet. Now this spreadsheet will house all the information that we would like to access. In other words, who are we sending this card to? The first row will be the name of the person. Second row, their email. So let's go ahead and add email. Third will be that personalized message. So we're going to say message and that's it. So let's go ahead and start filling this form out. I'm going to say name one will be say Gary. And the second one will be James. So let's go ahead and add in James. The third will be Georgina. And then finally we'll add in Kim. So there we go, we now have four names. Let's add in four email addresses. Now I am going to use my demo accounts for this. So let's go ahead and add in our demo accounts. There we go, that's our first email address. Again, demo account. There we go, that's our second, our third, and number four. So we now have four names, four email addresses, and we can leave a personal message. So let's go ahead and keep it simple for this demo. We're going to have an amazing Christmas. Hope you enjoy the time with your family. Georgina is going to get a message saying, happy holidays, have fun in the UK. And Kim, it's been an amazing year. Enjoy the holidays. There we go, we now have four different names four email addresses and four personalized messages. How do we get these into our own cards? Turn the cards into a PDF that is then sent automatically to that person. Well, that's where we're going to use something called Autocrat. Now, Autocrat is going to use tags and those tags have to be in our slideshow template. So looking at our slideshow template now, where do we want tags? Well, the first one I'll want is name. I want name to be replaced with that personal name. So we're going to put two less than symbols and then after the word name, put two greater than symbols. Same for the text, we're going to put two less than and then two greater than. This helps the program find where the tag is and how it can be replaced. You can have as many as you want, but at the moment I only need two. I wanna replace the name with a personalized name and I wanna replace the text with personalized text. I don't need to replace the email address in my card because it doesn't go on my card, but that will be used by the program to email that person. So now I can go back to my spreadsheet and install Autocrat. So here in my spreadsheet at the top, we're going to go to extensions, add-ons, and we're going to get the Autocrat add-on. So here we're going to click on Autocrat, Autocrat, find Autocrat, install Autocrat, and then we are good to go. So let's go ahead and install that, give it the permissions it needs, and we can start using it. So let's run everything through Autocrat and automatically send out these cards. We're going to go to the top, extensions, and you will see Autocrat is right there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and open Autocrat. Once this add-on has been opened up, we're going to set it up we're going to allocate each of those special fields to a field in our spreadsheet and it's going to run automatically. So let's create a new merge job. It is generating that job. We're going to call this the Christmas card sender. Okay, let's click on next. Which template do we want to use? Well, we've just created that card. So let's go ahead and select from drive. Find our Christmas card, click on that. And make sure that you have your tags in your slideshow before you select it in Autocrat. 
because that way Autocorrect can find those tags and it can then change them. It has loaded the presentation. We are going to click on next. And now we have to match the tag found in the slideshow with the column in our spreadsheet. So here you can see name. We are going to map name. So first we need to say, okay, which tab are you going to use? I'm going to use sheet one. And then double check. Do we want to map name to the column name? Yes. And then text we are going to map to message. Remember, those were the first rows that I filled out in my spreadsheet, the header rows, and so it knows which one to use. We're going to click on next. And now it's going to give it a file because those files will be created, generated, and then stored on your Google Drive and shared with someone else. So how are we going to title these? Well, we're going to call it Christmas card. Easy and simple. Do we want to save it as a Google Slides? Well, actually, I want it as a PDF and I want it as a multiple output. In other words, if I have four people in my spreadsheet, I want four files. Now, you can also create a single file with everyone's information in there, but I don't want that. Not everyone wants to see who else has received this card. So multiple output mode. Let's click on next. Where do we want to store these? I'm going to leave them in my drive, but if you have a lot of cards to send, I would highly recommend you create a separate folder, store them in that folder, not to clutter up your main Google Drive. I'm going to click on next. Next. Do we want any merge conditions? Not necessary. Let's click on next. Now, do we want to share these documents and files and send emails? Yes, we do. So click on yes. And then we're going to set up the email. This is where it's automatically going to be emailed to everyone. So we're going to email a PDF file. Do we want to allow the collaborators to reshare this? Yeah, sure, why not if they want to? And are we going to send it from a generic no reply address? No, they can know my email address. Okay, let's start with two. Who do we want to send this to? Well, we want to send it to one of those tags. So we're going to add in a tag. There we go, we're going to add in that tag. We're going to send it to email and then close the tag. Now make sure that that is spelled exactly the same as you've spelled it in your sheet. We're going to give it a subject. So we're going to say Merry Christmas. And then we can even type a message. So Merry Christmas. I've made this card for you. Okay, let's click on next. Do we want to run a trigger? That means whenever someone fills out a form or not needed, we're doing it manually. Run on time? No, not needed again. So let's go ahead and click on save. It's saving that job does not mean it's running it yet. So at the moment, everything is prepared, but we're not sending the cards yet. We still have time to add in more people into our spreadsheet. Once you're ready, all you have to do is go back to Autocrat and click on play or run. So let's do that now. I'm going to click on run. That job is now running in the background. It's going to tell me how many it has already completed and how many cards it has already sent. There we go. We can see four rows will be merged. It is busy merging those rows, creating those PDF files. It has finished one of four jobs because I'm sending it to four people finished our second one, and there we go, four cards. So let's have a look at those cards. We can close everything. We no longer need this. Student one, let's go into their inbox, mail.google.com. And here it is, our Christmas card has arrived. At the top, you will see my address, Merry Christmas. And when I click on that card, I see a personalized card, Merry Christmas to Gary, have an amazing Christmas. Everything is automatically filled in. This will be a different person, different card. So let's go ahead and sign in. Day two received a personalized card, different name, different message. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.